ChatGPT is fantastic. Except for when it's not, which is like most of the time. 60% of the time, it works every time. But I'm broke. Fancy GPT remains out of my reach. So I have to make do with what I've got. The project I'm working on is building a supplemental flashcard deck for my co-residents and myself as we're getting ready to take call next year. Shout out to my homies of the two ones, two, the two ones, shout out to my homies of the 919. We're going to be assuming a lot more independent radiology call responsibilities next year. And you know what they say when you assume I'm ready to take call. You die! I posted a video a couple weeks back showing the prompts that I was using to get pretty decent results, but I've noticed, as I'm sure you have as well, it doesn't take that much to put the chatbot into catastrophic failure, especially if you have a multi-step prompt. Seriously, it's a natural language processing chatbot that has the knowledge from the entirety of the internet at its fingertips, and if I give it more than a three-step command, it completely loses its mind. So I'm going to show you the workarounds that I've figured out to be able to keep the chatbot primed and keep it on task. I cut my hair. Alright, here's what you want to do. Split your prompts into two parts. Part one needs to include a description of the task, formatting information, and detailed instructions stated as clearly as possible. Part two is an example of the exact task you want the chatbot to perform. ChatGPT's attention mechanism utilizes conversational context to identify important information. For me, these two prompts are really all it takes to get the chatbot fully oriented. Save the feedback that works. The chatbot is going to screw up. Whether it's formatting, forgetting parts of the prompt, or just making crap up. Whatever feedback you give to get the chatbot back on track, you should save that for future use. I have a table beneath my prompts where I save all of this feedback for the next time that I encounter a similar situation. And you will encounter a similar situation again and again. Give both negative and positive feedback. This one's an actual hack. Pointing out the good responses increases the repeatability of these results, and it increases the likelihood that ChatGPT will prioritize that response and use it as a part of its conversational context for responses it generates going forward. Consider saving this response and the prompt that preceded it to use as an example in the future. Draw attention to commonly missed information in your prompts by bolding and capitalizing keywords and phrases. This helps ChatGPT to recognize the important information and is really helpful in longer prompts or prompts that include multiple reference criteria. I know, ChatGPT can really struggle on occasion, but with a little strategy and a little practice, you truly can create some amazing resources. Check out the link in the video description for an example Anki deck that I created in my downtime at work using all of these tips and tricks. Do it.